God bless you, dear friends. This is Brother Anthony Wynn here at Miracle Deliverance Tabernacle, Riceville, Athens, Tennessee. What an honor, what a glorious honor to come into your presence, share with you the love of God. It reaches from the highest mountain and His blood flows to the lowest valley. Hallelujah. Uh, we're here to pray with you. We have seasoned prayer warriors that are available. If you have a need, call in let us pray with you. I want to just share my heart. I've been in the presence of the Lord this morning. Third John, little John 1 and 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health as thy soul prospers. Friend, it's the will of God for you to walk in health. It's the will of God for you to feel good again. Jesus just did not go to Calvary and die for our sins. He stopped at the whipping post. He was beat. Isaiah 52 talked about his vestures was married more than any man in his form, more than the sons of man. You have a receipt for a miracle. You have a receipt for a healing. By his stripes, you're healed. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper. It's the will of God to have food on your table. It's the will of God for you to keep your home. I'm going to be talking about it. It's the will of God to pay your bills. And it's the will of God to heal you. You never want to pray anything out of the will of God. It's the will of God to raise you up. It's the will of God to strengthen you. It's the will of God to encourage you. In Psalms 103 and 2 and 3, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Somebody ought to shout right now, Devil, you're a liar. I am forgiven. My, my sins are forgiven. My sins are under the blood. My sins are cast away. I am not who I used to be. I am a new creation. Old things have passed away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. When you work somewhere, it has benefits. When you live for Jesus, it has the greatest benefits of any company or any entity in the whole world. Number one, who forgiveth all thine iniquities. You ought to worship again and say, I am forgiven. Yes, I messed up. Yes, I stumbled. Yes, I failed. Yes, Satan tripped me up, but I am forgiven. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. And the same passage, the same covenant. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? The same covenant who says your sins are forgiven, who healeth all thine thy diseases. I know there's a doctrine going around that, that in the book of Acts, miracles stopped and the gifts stopped and the Holy Ghost was ceased to, to exist and, and, the, and that that it was just for that age. But the Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he healed one time, he'll heal again. If he touched one time, he'll touch again. If he moved one time, he'll move again. And he has a miracle for you. And he has a healing for you. Who healeth all thy diseases. Hallelujah. You ought to lay your hands on your body and say, disease, you got to go in the name of Jesus. You, you, you got to go. You got to go. Heart trouble, you got to go. Diabetes, you got to go. It's all the back and all the things that's happened to your spine. You've got to move. You've got to bow to the name of Jesus. His name is above every name. Who redeemeth thy life from destructions. These iniquities and these sickness will try to pull you down to destruction. Not just sin, but life will try to pull you down. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowneth thee with love and kindness and tender mercies. It's the will of God to heal you. It's the will of God. It's the will of God. It's the will of God. And, and around March the 3rd, we're approaching our 20th year of TV ministry. We've been ministering to people for all my life. I'm 62. Daddy's pastored since I pastored a little church in Copper Hill since 1965. And it's the will of God to heal you. And it's my passion and my desire. Hallelujah. But I lately, they a new burden, a new passion that's fell on me. And we're, we're not just preaching. We're, 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 we want to see signs and wonders. We want to see God confirm his word. And we have prayer warriors right now waiting right now who'll pray with you we want to make a difference in your life we want we want to see the lord touch you and help you we want to see the lord raise a standard up for you we want you to get up, up feeling good again i'd walked through a season of sickness and i walked up i woke up this morning i felt like a new person i knew i had been visited by the presence of the lord i knew prayer warriors had been hallelujah hallelujah i feel the holy ghost now call now let us pray with you friend hallelujah we got people that cure we got people in fact our church is on a fast right now we're taking the month of january we're eating a meal a day and we're drawing out of god we're hearing the voice of god we're we're, we're decreasing that he might increase we're, we're fading away that the glory of the lord might be revealed and we want to make a difference in your life and if you'll call right now there's somebody right now we'll pray with you we'll believe with you hallelujah jesus he'll put food on your table he'll bless you to keep your home 
Philippians 4, 19, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Did you hear that? Not Buddha, not Muhammad, not Hare Krishna, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This is one of my favorite Psalms 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I too, like David, can say I was young, but now I'm old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I've never seen his seed begging bread. As as a little boy, uh, daddy would do com some construction work through the winter time and, and bring an extra income. Sm pastored a small church with a small income. Then during the summer, he, he would pastor his church and go have tent revivals. And uh, th this particular winter, the offerings were low and, and well, the offerings were zero. And he, he called Lake Allen. He said, he said, we'll go to Atlanta, see if we can find a job. But on the way to Atlanta, about four o'clock in the morning, they got down around Canton, Georgia. We lived in Suchus, Georgia. Got down around Canton, Georgia on a little two lane road and the traffic's all backed up and everybody's driving cars that day. And daddy, I think had a white pickup. And uh, here comes Tape Crow said, sir, said, there's a bad wreck up here. Nobody's hurt. He said, but we got seal boxes of froze chicken. He said, they're scattered everywhere. He said, would you take take some home to your folk? He gave us a, ch a truckload of chicken. We had nothing but bread and potatoes. We didn't have no meat. We didn't have no chicken. We didn't have no bacon. We didn't have no hamburger meat. We had nothing but, but flour and potatoes. But for the next few weeks, next few months, our neighbors had chicken. We had fried chicken and boiled chicken and baked chicken. I'm telling you, God's going to make a way for you. God's going to make a way for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's going to make a way for you. The devil is a liar. There's spirit of fear come against you that you're going to lose everything that you're going under. We're here right now to pray with you, that to hold your hands up, to strengthen you. Not just the next 30 minutes, but write these numbers down. Share these numbers with your friends. Hallelujah. We, 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 we're not just trying to preach some gospel that don't make a difference. We've seen this gospel work. I've seen Jesus walk in the hospital rooms and storms. I've seen him heal homes and families. I've seen him save wayward children. I've seen him heal and restore. And I feel a faith this morning. I feel a confidence this morning. We're here in Athens, Tennessee at the end of a road, 675. And God has given us a new vision. Our, our employees, we're having to hire more employees. And we have poured concrete this, this past week for our footer. We're building this 80 by 82 two-story two new studio. We got a vision. Friend, you got to get your vision back. I know I know that the coronavirus and I know the storms and the pressures trying to stop you, but somebody's got to stand up and say he's still God through World War One. He's still God through World War Two. He's still God through the Korean conflict. He's still God through the depression. He's still God in, in 2023. He's still God and the God on the mountain is the God of the valley and the God of the days, the God of the night. I want to take this gospel to the four corners of the world. I want to tell this generation that Jesus still saves and he still heals and he still delivers when there's so much oppression and depression, when suicide's on the rise, when, when addiction is on the rise. Somebody got to carry this gospel that Jesus loves you right where you are. Jesus cares about you right where you are. You need to stand up and say, devil, you're a liar. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He's going to make a way for you. You need to keep God first. He's faithful. You need to keep God first. He's faithful. Find you a good church to sow your tithes into. I think Oasis Ministries here, if you, we don't want your tithes, it goes to your local church. They're the one that preaches your funeral. They're the one They're the one that shows up at your hospitals. If you can send us offers or help us. But if you don't have a church, could we be your church family? Would you connect with us? Would you let these prayer warriors fight for you and let this pastor weep over you and hold your your hands up. The Bible said, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of thy increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst forth with new wine. Hallelujah. You ought to pardon with us to reach this generation. You ought to hold my hands up. I, I'm just a man. In fact, I'm just a country preacher, but I've, I've got a call of God and I've got a burden, but I cannot do this without my partners, without men and women. We, we, have, we have business and little widows and we have, we have young people that, that send offerings and send tithes and we, 
We have people that hold our hands up and strengthen us and walking with us to win this generation, to reach this generation. And the Bible said, if you'll honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase, you ought to do like Hezekiah. You ought to turn your face to the wall right now. Said the bank says it's over and the lawyer says it's over and the judge says it's over. And all my family and friends look at me and says it's over. But God, I've walked before you with an upright heart. I've walked before you. I've, I've been faithful to you. I've given of my tithes and money. I've, I've, I've stood in the gap. I've made up the hedge. Now I need heaven and earth to stand at attention. God, I need you to stand up and fight for me. I'm talking about a God that will fight for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We still believe in miracles. Here at Miracle Deliverance Tabernacle. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul that so from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. We still believe in the Holy Ghost. We still believe he saves, heals, and delivers. Brother Jerry and Joanne, their grandson, wrecked his vehicle, totaled his vehicle. Should, could have very well took his life. And right there in that vehicle lay one of these prayer cloths. Hallelujah. That young man walked away unhurt. The electricity you have in your house, it does not come from those wires that come into your house. That is a point of contact. The Lord dropped that in my heart this morning, early this morning before daylight. That's just a point of contact. There's, th this is not the miracle. This is not the healing. It comes from a fountain filled with blood. It comes from the very heart of Jesus. This is just a point of contact to get the miracle to you, to release your faith, to activate your miracle. Hallelujah. And we would like to mail you one of these free. Uh, some of you could help with the ship and some of you could give a gift. But if you don't have any money, we will we will pay the postage. We'll mail this. We'll rush it to you free. Call us right now. Write us or, or email us or something. We, we, we want to be part of your miracle. We want to be part of your new 2023. I know the enemy beat you up in 20 and 21 and 22, but you need to stand up and fight. Let me hold your hands up. You hold my hands up. Together we can make it home. Let's finish this journey with victory. Let's don't give in to the enemy. Let's don't give in to the pain and the pressure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And seek in the heart of Jesus early today. I felt healing for broken lives. I felt healing for brokenness. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know. I don't know whether you're broke over a divorce. I don't know a spouse throwed you away for somebody else or just walked away and your heart's broke. I don't know if it was a failed relationship. You could be a young person, an elder person, but somebody's broken over a failed relationship, a lost loved one so far in sin. You've prayed and you've wept and you've pleaded and you've begged and you try to smile and you try to be strong. You can't sleep you can't eat you can't rest your heart is so broken maybe you're broken over the death of a loved one so close to you that just your whole world around you stopped just everything stopped because you're so broken but I have a word for you when, when Jacob had sent Joseph down to check on his brethren they had sold his brethren down into Egypt and they took and killed that little kid goat and they put that blood on Joseph's coat and they brought that coat back and threw it at their father's feet and he picked it up and he said this is my son's coat I'll go to my grave weeping over him. And the Bible said in Genesis 37, 34, and Jacob rent his clothes and he put sackcloth upon his loins and he mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, I'll go down to the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. We'll never forget our loved ones that's gone. We'll never, they'll be, we'll, we'll cry tears the rest of our life, a, a memory of thought just something that'll, that'll click it in our heart we'll never forget there come a time you got to get back up and you say the devil's a liar i'm not going to have a nervous breakdown i'm not going to quit living i've got to go on a child needs me a grandchild needs me a spouse needs me some lost soul needs me the kingdom of god needs me jesus will let me wake up and i'm still breathing it would have probably been easier if you just felt if you'd have eased on home but he still has a plan for you and you've got to allow the holy ghost to comfort you i want to talk about this just for a moment. The Holy Ghost. I, the, I looked up the word comfort. It means to console oneself, to, to, to comfort, to be comforted. Webster Dictionary, it said the easing of a person's feelings of grief or distress. Can I share with you, there is hope. There is a comforter. In John 16, 7, nevertheless, I tell you the truth is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him 
on to you. Hallelujah. Grandma and little mama, hallelujah, sitting there, your heart broken. Can I, can I remind you, you remember years ago, weeping at that altar, that old, that old fashioned Holy Ghost came on you and began to shake your body and you begin to speak in tongues. I'm telling you, it's more than a chill bump. It's more than emotion. It's more than a feeling. That real genuine Holy Ghost dad, grandpa, young person, it's a comforter. And if your heart's breaking, if your world's tore apart right now, Hallelujah. We got people that will pray with you right now till the Spirit of the Lord falls on you. In the last days, saith God, I'm going to pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. Jacob said, I don't want to be comforted. I don't want to feel any better. I don't want to get out of this depression. You got to make up your mind. I'm going to get back up. Your loved one that's passed away, they don't want you to break. They don't want their death to destroy you. And God visited me this morning to tell you there's healing for you. There's comfort for you. We have a source right here. I know that will help you. It's it's a, a dealing with grief, whether it's a, a death or, or a divorce, whatever. This is 19 people's story who got back up when their world was shaken. I want to give this to you free. But more than that right now, hallelujah, I want the Holy Ghost to stir inside of you. If you've never received the Holy Ghost, you, you, you don't have to wait till you get to church and go to your altar in your home, in your business, wherever you are right now. You ought to call and just tell every, which one of our prayer warriors answers the phone. Brother, when asked ask me to tell you to please pray that the Holy Ghost will fall in this conversation. Hallelujah. My, 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 pre, my, my, my little friend, Brother H. Richard Hall, he's going to heaven now. But I remember him preaching away one night and he said, he said, people say, well, I wonder about those tongues. He said, sir, when you go down to the shoe store and you buy your new pair of those nice wingtip shoes, he said, you don't have to say, oh, give me the ones with the tongue. He said, when you buy them, the tongue just comes with them. Friend, the tongue, it's a benefit. When you begin to pray in the spirit devil don't know what you're talking about it's a language between you and god it'll heal a broken heart it'll mend a broken home it'll go into a sick unit it'll go into a hospital a jail or a prison hallelujah and when that spirit begins to pray through you it's the holy ghost yeah i feel the holy ghost falling in somebody's home right now it'll shake off this brokenness and this wounds people have hurt you people have said stuff preacher they threw you away but there's a healing for you there's a restore for you and it's in the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah don't turn your TV I'll finish this program but go ahead and go into prayer right now you can go back and re-listen to this you can call here and we'll send you a copy free DVD or CD anything you want books or anything I got a book on soul winning I'll send you for any offer at all hallelujah but right now go into prayer the Holy Ghost hallelujah nevertheless I tell you I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that I go away the comforter will not come on you but if I depart I will send him on to you John 14 26 but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatever whatsoever I've said unto you hallelujah I found this in Psalms he healeth the broken heart and he bindeth up their wounds I feel healing I feel an anointing that'll bind up your wounds somebody write this down Psalms 147 and 3 he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He healeth the broken and heart and bindeth up their wounds. Hallelujah. Every once in a while I'll see somebody walk through these church doors and they're just so broken and their life so broken. I've got two families I'm, I'm praying for right now. But there's people that's answering this phone now. Our life was broken and we've seen the hand of God walk in. Hallelujah. After buried loved ones, after our world shaken, after our dreams were shattered, after 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 pain after suffered, after deep sorrow, we seen the precious hand of God walk in and hold our heart, put pieces back together. They say if you break a, a truck frame, if you break metal, you grind it down and weld it back. They say that broken place is the strongest area. That's the reason Apostle Paul can say, in my weaknesses, I am made strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're about eight minutes from the end of this broadcast, but I got to stop right now and pray for the lost. Hallelujah. You got out of church and you you thought you'd be gone just a little while, but you've been gone a long time. Hallelujah. You wandered away from God for a long time. You, you, you went to the depths of sin and you stayed there a long time. But I hear the voice of the Lord calling you back home. I hear the voice of the Lord saying, if you'll draw nigh to me, I'll draw nigh to you. Hallelujah. And the devil's lying to you. I remember London, Kentucky. The, my, my, my wife had such a burden for her aunt. And we knelt there in her home. 
Hallelujah. In, in her 60s and, and the Holy Ghost began to fall in that home. The Lord whispered to her, you, you, you didn't give me your, your life in your early age. And now the enemy's told you that you're, you're in the latter part of your life. And the Lord don't want you. But the devil's a liar. The Lord wants you right now. And somebody, you, 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 you've let your life slip by. Now you're in the sunset ages of your life. And the enemy's whispered, you wouldn't give him the best part of your life. He don't want you now. The devil's a liar. He loves you right where you are. Jesus cares for you right Right where you are and if you'll bow your head right now and say lord i'm sorry i repent of my sins i'm sorry i didn't take time to live for you i'm sorry that i pushed you aside i'm sorry i didn't go to church and live for you and serve you and take my family to church but lord this day i repent of my sins forgive me my sin come into my heart be the lord of my life be my Savior. Hallelujah. And if you'll forgive me, move into my heart, Jesus. I'll live for you. I'll get my family back to church. I'll, I'll serve you. And I'll, I'll be faithful to you. I'll read the Bible. And I'll love people. And I'll forgive people. In Jesus' name we pray. Friend, you've made a start. Hallelujah. You ought to call right now. Let somebody finish praying with you. Somebody's about to pray too to the Holy Ghost. Somebody's got a new start and a new beginning. Going back to healing again. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from the destruction hallelujah somebody needs to pick back up your bible you've left your bible you used to read your bible and you've got busy and you stayed in church and you love the lord but you've forsaken your bible but i'm telling you there's hope in that bible there's peace in that bible there's clarity in that bible questions are answered reading that bible and there's healing in that word he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction hallelujah Psalms 30 and 2. Oh Lord my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. We have so many free sources we want to give you. We have a free Bible course. That we have this in jails and prisons. I picked up the mail yesterday. They must probably 60 or 70 courses where people had sent in to be graded and returned. And I want one of these to be you. So send in your name and the name of a son or family or member or daughter, someone, and we, we will mail them a free Bible course. You'll, you'll you'll study it you'll read the bible you'll fill it out mail it back in we'll grade it mail you the next one free hallelujah if we can get you reading the bible hallelujah you'll, you'll get back up if we can get you reading the bible it will renew your strength if we can get you reading the bible if you'll get your family back to reading the bible god said if you'll return to me i'll return on you and the word was made flesh and dwelled among us if we can get you back reading that bible you'll find him in isaiah 6 and i saw the lord how and lifted up and his train filled the temple. If we can get your children back reading that Bible, they'll find him in Psalms 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. If we can get people back reading that Bible, they'll find him in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. If we can get people reading that Bible, they're going to find him in Revelation. There's no need for the sun or the moon there, for he's the light of that city hallelujah is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the lord shall raise him up and if he have committed sins they shall be forgiven him hallelujah is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil hallelujah i remember being at prayer one morning at five o'clock in the church no one had showed up that morning it was just me and the press of the Lord was mighty strong and I heard the door open and we had a visitor over past Nashville Tennessee who had faithfully watched our program I'd never met him and, and the doctors had given him less than a month to live with heart trouble and he got in a vehicle that needed repair with tires that weren't safe to drive in and he drove over to Mont Eagle and he, he knew that I, I was meeting that morning in prayer and he walked into that sanctuary and when I when when the, the Holy Ghost kind of reached a low place he walked up to the altar where I was and he said, Brother Wynn, may I speak to you? And I said, yes, my friend. And he said, doctors have given me less than a month to live with my heart. Hallelujah. And he said, the Lord said, if I would come here and pray with you, that, that the Lord would touch me. We begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost fell. Hallelujah. Call on the elders. There's people waiting right now. We have some soldiers who will pray with you right now. We have prayer warriors. 
seasoned prayer warriors standing by these phones who will pray with you right now. Me and this man of God, we begin to pray and a month went by and two months and six months and a year and two years. The power of prayer, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Hallelujah. You're going nowhere if, 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 till the, while the call of God's on your life till the Lord is finished with you. Hallelujah. 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 The effectual fervent prayer in Hebrews 11 and 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you hallelujah I love this one I'm 62 now Psalm 37 25 I have been young and now I'm old yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread Psalms 107 and 9, for he satisfied the longing soul and he filled the hunger soul with goodness. Hallelujah. For any offering that you could give our newest book, You Can't Kill a Promise. David's walking toward Goliath and on the inside David's grinning. Goliath, you're bigger than me. You're stronger than me. Your weapons are bigger than mine. But I've just been anointed king and I got a promise that I can't die till I sit on that throne. And though it looks like I'm outnumbered and it's over, I have a promise. And Goliath, you can't kill a promise. Hallelujah. God's promised your marriage. He's promised your children. He's promised your health. He's promised your ministry. And now all hell's trying to shut it down and stop it. But the devil cannot stop a promise. He can't kill a promise. Hallelujah. This is Brother Anthony Wynn reminding you, if God be for you, who can be against you? I want to remind you, his banner over you is love. I want to remind you, he's a way maker. He's a chain breaker. He's living bread. He's the living water. He's peace that passeth all understanding. I want to remind you, the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Your nerves are not going to break. You're not going under. God's going to move for you. He's going to make a way for you. He's going to raise a standard up for you when the enemy comes in like a flood God's not going to flee he's not going to fail you nor forsake you many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth out of them all if God be for you who can be against you be encouraged. Call, share your testimony with us. Let us know how Oasis Ministry is touching you. Let us know how the Spirit and the presence of God is making a difference in your life. If you're in the Tennessee area, through the Knoxville, Chattanooga area, look us up here in Athens, Tennessee. Miracle Deliverance Tabernacle. Sunday morning at 11th, church Sunday night at 6, Tuesday at 7, youth service every Thursday at 7 o'clock. This is Brother Anthony Wynn. We love you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining Anthony Wynn Ministries. If you'd like to see more, join us for our Miracle Night Prayer Service. Miracle Night happens every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we join together in prayer and watch God move. If you'd like to participate in Miracle Night or join us for our other projects, you can follow us at Oasis Ministries on Facebook or follow us at Anthony Wynn on YouTube. We also want to say a special thank you to our partners of Anthony Wynn Ministries. Your gifts make it possible to give free ministry material to those in need. If you aren't already a partner, we ask you to pray about becoming one today. You can become a partner through our website at anthonywynn.org or calling 1-877-226-4088. And lastly, if you ever need prayer, please call us at one 877 226-4088 or go to our website at anthonywin.org. Thank you and God bless.